Howdy, today on Flipping Science, we're going to look at uh, calculating pH and calculating pOH. So what is pH? Um, if we look at solutions, we can see if they're acidic, if they are neutral, or if they are basic. And one way of doing that is measuring how many hydrogen ions are present in the solution, or how many hydronium ions are present in the solution. And that gives rise to the pH scale. So pH scale, it's a scale that goes from 0 to 14. Um, acids are anything with a pH of less than 7. Uh, bases are anything with a pH that's greater than 7. And neutral solutions, they have a pH of exactly 7. So how do you calculate pH? Um, the pH scale is based on a logarithmic scale, so it deals with really, really small numbers. So here's our equation here. So the pH is equal to the minus log of the concentration of hydronium ions in the solution, and the unit of the concentration of hydronium ions is moles per litre. The square brackets that you see there, they mean concentration of, so concentration of hydronium ions in moles per litre. So if you're given the hydrogen uh, ion concentration or the hydronium ion concentration, you can figure out pH using your calculator. Um, if you're given the pH and you need to keep calculate how many hydronium ions or hydrogen ions are present in the solution, then we rearrange the formula and we get this one down here. So the concentration of hydronium ions in moles per litre is 10 to the negative pH. So this is the anti-log of the log that we have down here. So let's do some examples. First question here says calculate the pH of a solution of hydrochloric acid with a concentration of hydronium ions of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per litre. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write my equation. So pH equals minus log concentration of hydronium ions. Now I'm going to substitute in my numbers. So minus log so 6.4 times 10 to the minus 4. And now I'm going to go to my calculator. So I do negative log 6.4 raised to the power of minus 4 equals, and I get 3.19. I'm just going to round that off to two significant figures because that's the data that I have in here. So it's going to be 3.2. So my answer there is 3.2. Next question says, calculate the hydronium ion concentration in moles per litre of an ethanoic acid solution of pH 2.9. So now I'm going to use my uh, inverse uh, calculation. So the concentration of H3O plus equals 10 to the minus pH. So that's 10 to the minus 2.9. And now I'll go to my calculator again. So the button we use is inverse log, so you press shift and log, so that's the 10 to the, uh, the inverse log button. Then we do minus, and make sure you remember the minus because it's very easy to forget it, 2.9. And I get 1.25 times 10 to the minus 3. Again, I'm going to round that off to two significant figures, so it's 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3. So put in my answer, so 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3, and make sure you do your unit, uh, your unit and that's going to be moles per litre. The next bit we're going to look at is uh, pOH. So strong bases are ionic hydroxides that completely dissociate in water, releasing their hydroxide ions. Um, you need to look at the formula of both your acids and your bases when you're looking at calculating these things to see what how many hydrogen ions for an acid or hydroxide ions for a base are being released. So if we look at sodium hydroxide, when we put that into solution, it's only going to release one hydroxide per molecule. If we look at magnesium hydroxide, though, it's going to release two um, hydroxide ions per molecule. So that's something to think of when you're looking at your acid or your base and you're calculating uh, pH or pOH. So if we're trying to figure out the pH from a pOH, uh, we need to use this rule. So the pOH is the proportion of hydroxide ions. Um, that tells you how, much, how many hydroxide ions are present in your solution. If we know the pOH, uh, we can figure out what the pH of the solution is. Um, and you calculate pOH in the same way that you would calculate pH. So the formula is the same. That's what we have over here. 
So pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ions rather than hydronium ions that you would have for pH. Um, if you add pH and pOH together, you get 14. So that's how you can figure out what the uh, pH is. You do 14, subtract your pOH, and that will give you your pH of the solution. Um, this is based on a bit of mass, so the concentration of hydronium ions times the concentration of hydroxide ions is going to equal 10 to the minus 14. Um, so that's the mathematical relationship. So let's do an example. Uh, 0.35 mole of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in one litre of water. Calculate the pH of that solution. First thing we need to recognise is how many hydroxide ions are going to be released from the 0.35 moles of calcium hydroxide. Um, so write the equation for this, so CHOH. Now, the key here is calcium hydroxide, there's two hydroxide ions for the calcium ion. Uh, the reason for that is, and we'll see when we do this, so calcium's in group two, so that produces a plus two ion. And that's going to be aqueous, dissolved in water. So we get two hydroxide ions being released. So our ratio of calcium hydroxide to hydroxide ions is one to two. So our number of moles of um, hydroxide ions is going to be 0 0.7 mole. And the reason for that is it's going to be twice the number of moles of calcium hydroxide. So there's a 1 to 2 ratio there. Now, if we look at our concentration, C equals N on V, our number of moles is 0 0.7 moles divided by our volume, which is 1 litre. So the concentration of hydroxide ions is 0 0.7 moles per litre. Now that we have that, we can calculate our pOH. So pOH equals minus log uh, concentration of hydroxide ions. So it's negative log of 0 0.7. Go to my calculator. So go minus log 0.7, and that is equal to uh, 0 0.15. So it's a very basic solution, that is. So our uh, pOH is 0 0.15. Um, pH plus pOH equals 14. So pH equals 14 minus pOH. So it's going to be 14 minus our 0 0.15. I'll go back to my calculator. So we do answer minus, so now it's going to be 14 minus answer. So 14 minus answer. And I get 13.85 rounded off. So I get 13.85 and just round that off a little bit. So today we looked at pH, we talked about what pOH is, and we did some example questions on calculating pH and pOH. That's it for Slim Science today. See ya. <laughs>